Hey everyone, it's Zinnia here, and today I wanted to show you how to make a catch game on the phone. So I'm gonna break this into three steps, which will be move the catcher, make an object that is falling down, and make objects that the player has to avoid. So yeah, let's get started. So in Octo Studio, I'm gonna tap create new project, and then I'm gonna tap choose a sprite, and you can pick whatever you want to be the falling item in your game, you know, whatever you want the player to be catching. Uh, I think for my game, I will have sushi be the thing that's falling, so I'm gonna pick the sushi, and then, you know, you can choose whatever backdrop you want. Um, I'm actually gonna tap photos, and I'm gonna upload this backdrop. I'm also going to add another sprite and add whatever you want to be catching the objects in your game. I think I'm gonna have the bowl, so I'll just tap that, and I'm also just gonna edit the bowl, and I'm gonna remove the spoon. So, uh, first, we want the player to be able to move the catcher left and right. So, one way you can do that is have the player be able to move the catcher when they tilt the phone or tilt the tablet. So, what I'm gonna do to do that is I'm gonna go to the More Blocks category, and I can drag out the Tilt to Move block. And so, when I test that out, you may have seen this before, but so now, when I tilt, you know, the tablet or the phone, uh, then I can move the character. Is a bowl of character? I can tilt the bowl. Uh, and so, oh, you know what? Let me add a when play button on top so I can start it by tapping the play button. Okay, nice. So now I can tilt it all around, uh, but if we want to be able to just tilt the bowl at the bottom of the screen, uh, you can tap here within the tilt block and tap the left and right option. And so now you can just tilt the device left and right to tilt the bowl. So that's looking pretty good. Now let's go to step two, making it so that the sushi or whatever object you have will fall from the top of the screen. So I will tap here and tap on the sushi sprite and we can make it go to a random position by dragging out this go to block and tapping within the block and tapping on the dice for random. And so that makes it go somewhere random. But when it's falling down, we don't just want it to go to a random position anywhere. We want it to be a random position at the top of the screen. And so if you want to do that, you can tap on the dice. And you may have seen this in another video, but if this is your first video, I want to show you also. So you can tap within the go to block again. And so X is the position from this side of the screen to this side of the screen. And Y is the height. So it's the height of the character. So if you put Y to 180, that makes the sushi go to the top of the screen. Um, and if you put X to random, now this block makes the object go to a random spot where X is random, but Y is always at the top of the screen. And now if we want it to fall all the way down to the bottom of the screen, well, we know that Y of 180 is the top of the screen. Like up, up here, Y is 180. So if we have the object move 180 steps down with the move block, that makes it fall exactly to the bottom of the screen. So I can just attach this move block under the go to block. And so now uh, when I tap on that, that makes it go to somewhere on the top and then just fall down. And so if I put this inside a forever loop, now the sprite is always going somewhere random and falling down. Uh, so that's just what we want. I will put a when play button block on top of that to make that start too. And so this is going great. Uh, only problem is even if we run into the sushi, we cannot catch it. It just goes right through the bowl. So Let's fix that. Uh, so still within the sushi sprite, I'm gonna go to the when to start category and grab the when touches block. And when the sushi runs into the bowl, what do we want to happen? Well, okay, to start, we can make it play a sound. So I'm gonna drag out a play sound block. And you know, you could have any sound you want. I kind of like this game sound. So, okay, let's try it out. So now when I collect the sushi, there we go. Uh, we, at least we get a sound effect. Um, but we should also have the sushi hide. So it's like, it got collected. Um, so to do that, I'll go to the looks category and I'm gonna drag out a hide block and I'll set it to hide at lightning speed. And so now, uh, okay, now when I catch the sushi, it disappears. Um, the only problem is it disappears and then does not reappear. So we should fix that. Um, so how about, so there's, there's this block show that will make a character well, show up. So how about we make it so that right up here, right before it goes to the top of the screen, it shows up. So now when it goes to the top of the screen, it appears and you know you can catch it, but then it reappears. Uh, so that's looking pretty good. But I also think that you should be able to actually score points for catching the sushi. So uh, to do that, I will go to the more blocks category and I'll drag out the change block that'll say change variable score. And I'll just put that up here. And so now every time I catch a piece of sushi, it increases the score by one. So 
Um, I can keep doing that. And how about we make it so that when the player taps the play button, we'll set the score to zero. So I'll do that by just dragging out the set variable block and right under the play button, I'll have it set the score to zero. So let's try that out. And there we go. Now, when we restart the game, the score gets set back to zero. So we're able to catch our falling item. Uh, now, lastly, let's make it so that there is an item that the player has to avoid and has to not catch. So to do that, what I'll do is I am going to click on the sushi icon and I'm gonna click duplicate. And so now we have two falling items, but let's replace this sushi with a different, like let's make it look different. So I'll tap here and I'll tap this replace. And you can choose whatever you want this item to look like, the item that the player has to avoid. So I'm gonna choose fire because I feel like that sort of fits. Uh, so, okay, so you don't wanna hit the fire. Um, right now, if you get the fire, you actually just get a point like normal. So. How about we make it so that if the fire runs into the bowl, so if the bowl catches a piece of fire, it will change the score by a negative number. So we could make it like, change the score by negative five every time you hit the fire. So it's like you're losing your points. So now let's just test it out. If I get the fire, I get negative five points, um, but I can try to get just the sushis to get my score up. And so yeah, that's looking pretty good. Also, we don't need this set variable score block for the fire because the sushi's already doing that. Also, a couple things. I feel like we should replace this game sound with some kind of fire sound. I think we have a sound called sizzle. Yes, okay, that's perfect. So when the player catches fire, it will sizzle. And also right now the fire is falling at the exact same time as the sushi. So to give it a little more randomness, how about before the fire shows up here, we could make it wait like a random amount of time so that it doesn't go at the same time as the sushi. So for example, maybe before it shows up, I'll have it wait like, a, I don't know, anywhere from maybe 0.1 seconds to like three seconds. So it'll wait for some amount of time. And so let's try that out. So, okay. So it waited a bit and then the fire showed up. Um, let's make it hide before it waits because otherwise it's just sitting there at the beginning waiting in the sky. So I will put a hide block before the wait. I'll say you know, hide at lightning speed. So now let's see how that goes. Um, oh, okay, now a fire showed up. Okay, and I caught it and it gave me negative points. So there we go. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Okay, let's see if I can avoid the fires and try to get my score up to at least zero. Oh, oh, I caught the fire. Okay, so as you can see, even a pro gamer may have difficulty not hitting the fire. Definitely not cheating by tapping the play button. Whoa, okay, I got a positive score. Okay, so yeah, that's what I wanted to show you today for the beginning to a catch game. Um, I'm gonna make more parts to the series and show more things like how to make items that give bonus points and also how to make the items go at different speeds and multiple levels or even a game over screen if you wanted to and more things like that. For now, I hope you have fun making your catch game and yeah, I'll see you in the next video.